Hi, and welcome to a special video edition of Beyond the Gate Radio. I am the producer and host, David Baker. My wife, Sherelle, co-hosts the show with me. This is about a special show we had on January 23rd, 2011. We had the world-famous Psychic Twins on our show, Terry and Linda Jameson, in which we interviewed them and had a nice chat. It was a great show. And then later, we asked them if they would make some of their first predictions for the year 2011, which they did. Totally amazing major predictions. And what I'm going to do is play some of the interview for you and then the portion to where you can listen to them making the predictions, which are well documented. They have come to pass since the show. Some of them including uh, major hurricanes, tornadoes, thwarted terrorist attacks, and cyber attacks. So thank you very much for joining us, and I hope you enjoy the show. And welcome to Beyond the Gate Radio Show with your hosts, David and Sherelle Baker. Boy, do we have a wonderful show for you tonight. We have two wonderful guests, and it's going to be a good match. Two great hosts and two great guests at Beyond the Gate Radio. Tonight, our two guests are well known, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about them. They are Terry and Linda Jameson, known internationally as the Psychic Twins. And they are the only twin psychics in the world. And yes, they are identical. So if I have an issue identifying Terry when I'm talking to Linda tonight, you do understand. The Psychic Twins are considered by many to be the most documented and accurate psychics working today. Cheryl, are you there? I am. Hello, everyone. Hello, all of our listeners and everyone in chat. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Um, and also, we'd like to welcome our guest. Thank, Thank you, Cheryl. Hi, David, Cheryl. Great Hello. to talk to you guys. Yes, it's wonderful for, to have you on the show tonight. Thank you for joining us and all the oh, many listeners. Oh, well, it's our pleasure. We went through an interdimensional portal to be here with you both tonight. Yeah, talk about beyond the gate. I think we went <laughs> through the gate, and uh, we may have to fix the lock on it now, but okay, uh, we blasted through it. <laughs> as long as you're here. <laughs> we're here and Thank we're ready. Thank you so much for the beautiful honoring introduction. Uh, awesome. You're precious, very precious to us. Well, you know, you deserve it. Uh, you've done so much for people. That's one of the things I want to focus on. You know, you have a truly good gift that really helps uh, an uncounted numbers of people all around the world, not just here. And for the fact that you're able to be uh, in the area to where you can get the word out to many people to help them and show people that there is another side to life besides the material and that there is love, light, and hope out there, and mm -hmm. that trusting our natural gifts that we have. You know, you've done a lot to uh, show that, and we all trust you and love you for that, and so we're very happy to have you here. That's very kind to say, David. Thank you. And right. back at you, you're one of the uh, Earth Angels, too, helping, helping with this whole process of our Earth evolving and spiritually. We're, you know, we feel like you are definitely helping as well to break down the walls between science and spirituality and helping to create a bridge of understanding for people. And we appreciate uh, our fellow Earth angels, as you both are. Well, thank you very much. Did you hear that, Sherelle? I did. Thank you so much. Very good point, Terry. That's funny, but if the United States government doesn't like to 
talk about UFOs and they exist because of the giggle factor, then why did they uh, release information uh, about remote viewing, which are using United States military officers as sighting spies who have had a pretty good track record, so they kept the program up for years. And I forget the general's name. Some general was kidnapped in Italy, and they uh, actually were able to locate him and rescue him because of the remote viewing psychic spies. And we started it because Russia had it, so that doesn't validate it, you know, besides... Oh, exactly. Yeah, and now they'll try to debunk it, you know, after the fact. I, I don't think there will ever be full disclosure by the government about aliens or UFOs. I don't no. think so either, and I don't think that they can, if they no. could, because it would be a disrupt too much on the earth, because we need to stay, you know, have some form of control, and I don't know what the total secret is, and I really don't care. As long as they don't invade us and everything's okay. I know it's really a bigger story, more to it than that, but... You know, I'm not an expert on it, even though I've been reading books on it. I find it to be very intriguing, and I will say that it is possible the uh, universe is infinite, and so are dimensions and creatures and creations. So I say it's a possibility that we have visitors from either another dimension, time, or place. Yes. And I think even I read a scientific uh, article recently that said they're, they're finding many more billions of stars and planets in in our solar system, and uh, they're saying that many of them are potentially like Earth, even. So that's a new development. A lot of people thought Earth was the only planet of its kind, but how, how incredibly egocentric to assume such a thing. And quantum physics, that's another major breakthrough that's coming about. I love, I love right. studying quantum physics. I mean, I'm very okay, sure Quantum well, we don't have to go into that. That's another sub. That's another conversation. <laughs> Can we get you back for another show on quantum? <laughs> yeah, we'd love to. We have a lot of a lot of shows we'll be doing around the launch of the bookshelf uh, in May, April, May, and June. So I don't think we'll be able to book for quite a while. But but uh, yeah, let's let's try to do it again. And you know what? We're going to get into some predictions, too, before we say goodbye. That's, yeah, you did it again. I was just going to say <laughs> that you're not going to be doing predictions for a lot longer in the future, but tonight we're very fortunate to have, and I was just going to ask you, but you did it again to me, you know. <laughs> but I want to mention that your website is uh, psychictwins.com, and there's right. much information on their website. There's videos of them on the Today Show and Tyra Show and other links. They have their uh, newsletter, Future Scope, which is very informative. They always have predictions uh, in the newsletter and lots of interesting information. There's uh, links to the book, Psychic Intelligence and Separated at Earth, on their website. I have it posted on my website, Beyond the Game okay. Radio. I have all the links there, the video, the Everything's there. Yeah, you're just been You're amazing. I wish all our radio people were as good at promoting as you are. <laughs> oh, thank wow. you very much. So having said that, uh, should I say, let's see what you guys have to say about uh, some predictions. Now, you've done medical predictions uh, pretty recently, and I've even read about them in your Futuroscope uh, newsletter. Yeah, so you want to... Sure. So... Do you have any uh, predictions, perhaps? Oh, do you see any more terrorist attacks coming in the near future or anything of that nature? We do. I mean, we don't see anything really big. It's, it's interesting because we were correct in the entire decade from uh, 2000 to 2010. We said there would be no other major terrorist attack like 9-11 on that scale, and we were right on U.S. soil. Credit for things that don't happen when you're a psychic. <laughs> um, but we actually do feel that there will be some terrorist attacks that are thwarted this year. Um, for some reason, I'm seeing uh, Chicago. I, I just feel like Chicago is coming in, maybe a homegrown terrorism attack. We predicted the, uh, the incidents that just happened in Arizona and Michigan. In fact, uh, police officers were shot 
tonight in Detroit, which we predicted in Michigan, um, and that that was sad news, unfortunately. But we're seeing something in England. Uh, it feels like the London area uh, terrorism. Uh, it feels like around the time of the royal wedding. It could be before. Yeah. Uh, there's there's a terror threat right in the London area. We're seeing Germany, France, and England will continue to be a hotbed of extremism this year. Uh, with a mass terror attack actually being plotted by extremist terror ring in Europe now for this year. Six or seven cities are targeted in Europe, and as you know, we predicted that last year and we were right. Um, we're seeing Pakistan and Yemen being in very high danger of terrorist attacks and possible anthrax or biological terrorist plot thwarted in the U.S. within the next year or two. And... Uh, Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's terrorist cells in the Chicago area, in, in quite a few in the New York area, in Miami. But we're seeing something funky happening in Chicago this year uh, around one of the terror cells. Uh, we're not seeing a lot of deaths or anything. And we're also seeing something around JFK, New York City, yes. the airport feels like JFK. And I want to say it's like April, May of this year. Could be April, May. Were you feeling anything like that, you guys? Yes. David, were you seeing that? Yes, most definitely. And uh, it's funny you should mention it. I usually don't do predictions, but on some of the radio shows, like the Joyce Keller show in New York, they always have me do predictions, and so so I've done it, you know, like I got the price of gold and some other stuff. So some lady, thank you, some lady that's a teacher in Chicago, it's funny you should say that, is doing a book about uh, psychics and mediums, certain ones, and she interviewed me, and she asked me to make some predictions for this that are going to come true shortly. So I predicted a... Uh, quake of a certain magnitude near Japan, and I predicted some uh, terrorist plots in England or somewhere around there. I forget the, mm -hmm. the predictions I made, and days later, they all came true. So, oh, you, should, you should kind of develop that. Yeah, I, I don't do it a lot, but, you know, and I'm not perfect. But, well, uh, nobody is. Nobody is perfect. Yeah. I mean, that's true. But I'm amazed that at yours, you do so many, you know, and... That's your gift you amongst many gifts you have. Thank you. Very I think much. a lot of it is that we've done it for so many years, 20 years, and when you do it every day and so focused, it becomes a little bit easier as you go along, and then you, when you hit, it gives you more confidence when you get a prediction right. And uh, so our confidence has developed over the years. But, you know, I think a lot of it is... Sometimes you'll, you'll be doing a prediction about something because you're asked or whatever, but some of the information may be hidden or changed or whatever because it's for the evolution of us on the earth, and that's why it's blocked. Or sometimes a person might misinterpret a sign or a symbol or is not feeling well that day or something. I don't know. What do you think? Absolutely. I mean, yeah. I don't think we're supposed to know everything. No. Uh, you know what I mean? Or we would be yeah. God. And right. so I absolutely right. agree. I don't think we're supposed to, for whatever reason, know every detail of uh, the future. No, not at all. I, and I think, you know, very often people say, well, why can't you stop? Why can't you stop a terrorist attack from happening? You, the twins, go and stop it. Go to Washington and stop it and make fun. Well, that's kind of ridiculous to expect us not only to predict these things, but to literally go and physically stop it from happening. That's not expecting Obama to go down to the bottom and clog the oil. Clog the well. Exactly. Clog the well. Stop. Yeah. Uh, we, right. we are, that's not our purpose, and I think that very often karma is meant to happen so that people learn and evolve spiritually. It's part of their destiny, and it's for whatever reason... Psychics aren't meant to see everything and, and uh, protect people from their own karmic experiences. And so, you know, and when we do, we do private, can, when we do private readings, um, I think a lot of times people will expect us to be magicians and wave a magic wand and, and fix their marriage or fix their job situation. You know, but what we're doing is we're helping them to see the best options for themselves. Thank you for listening to the special edition of Beyond the Gate Radio. I'm going to mention about my prediction briefly, as you did hear.
that I did predict before January of this year to somebody writing a book, the earthquake in Japan, earthquake and tsunami. And of course in 2010 I predicted the price of gold. But that's not my specialty and that's nothing compared to Terry and Linda Jameson who do this. This is their gift, their specialty, their main one. And since the recording of the show, we will have to wait to find out what happens to the royal couple in the next few years. But all the other predictions came true. They mentioned thwarted terror attacks, and that was just in the news lately. More WikiLeaks problems, that was just in the news lately. Major tornado from Florida, Midwestern states, and hurricane. As we all know, the uh, tornado in Joplin, Missouri was a major disaster and a hurricane, Irene, all those were predicted as you heard on the show, although not named specifically. Terror attacks in London and thwarted terror attacks, which they have predicted, you heard that, and so much more. All the details are on their website thepsychictwins.com and I also have a special page on my website davidbakerspiritmedium.com called The Psychic Twins Prediction because I was so impressed with their amazing accuracy and all the predictions that they made. They are truly astonishing and the oracles of the 21st century for sure. They, as I like to say, are quantum psychics. They are amazing. And the world loves Terry and Linda Jameson and we will be watching them.